Good morning friends. In my last video, I explained how to find out the FAH supply airflow and the exhaust airflow for a high risk building complete floor levels. Uh, we discuss about various floor around 20 rooms how to find out the FAH and we discuss about the positive and negative concept of ventilation for the FAH. In continuation of that video, today we are going to see the FAH cooling coil capacity selection and along with that one, there are some important mistakes which we normally do when you go for the FAH selection from the manufacturer. So I will explain that reason also then let's start the video the last video we find out the total fresh air flow for the floor is a 31 liter per second and the excess air flow is 755 liter per second let's consider the same arrangement for the 10th floor we have 10 floor for the high risk building so i am just to consider the same uh, flow and so multiply with the 10 floor we are getting 8310 liter per second and 7550 liter per second now we are going to select one fah with this supply air flow and with this excess air flow in this excel file first i entered the flow in meter cube per second so in meter cube second mean we got 8310 liter per second so 8310 divided by 1000 it will be 8.310 liter per second coming to the important mistake that on coil dry bulb temperature here i consider 34 degrees celsius i will explain you why i consider this one if you see the Dubai green building regulation, for example, the project is based on Dubai. So, dry bulb temperature I have to consider for the air conditioning design parameter. So, the dry bulb temperature I have to consider 46 degrees Celsius or 115 degree Fahrenheit. For the wet bulb temperature, it will be 29 degrees Celsius and 85 degree Fahrenheit. But for the FAH design, we don't normally consider this 46 and 29 degree only for the FAH. And uh, the other term like 34 and 32, we normally consider for the FAH design. I will explain to you what is the difference between the consideration of these two. When it comes to FAH selection, uh, when we go for the outside air temperature, because the outside air is comes into the uh, cooling coil and after the cooling coil, it gets cool. So here the dry bulb and wet bulb temperature, as I, showed you, as I showed you, the as per the Dubai Green Building Regulation, for the air conditioning design, we need to consider 46 degree dry bulb and uh, 30 degree, uh, 29 degree wet bulb. And coming to the uh, constant other values like uh, relative humidity, if you see, it will be normally like 28.834 uh, percentage if you follow these two conditions. But when you go for the FAH selection, we, we should not only see the uh, temperature and uh, relative humidity the third thing the, which is very important in uh, selecting the cooling coil is that is called as a absolute humidity or humidity ratio so when it comes to humidity ratio if you see for these two temperature the humidity ratio is 18.476 gram per kilogram Humidity ratio or absolute humidity means weight of water vapor or moisture in weight of dry air. So, this case, in this case, 46 and 29, the absolute humidity or humidity ratio is 18.476 gram per kilogram. So, in uh, kg of dry air, we have this much amount of uh, 18.476 gram of water vapor we have so coming to the uh, th uh, 34 and 32 so normally 34 32 is called as a country's uh, worst condition because why, why i say the worst condition and uh, here the important reason is for the FAH, selection at moonstone condition or country's worst climate condition normally prefer because it has more moisture content than 46 by 30 degrees Celsius for the UAE for example, if you see the 34-32 dry bulb and wet bulb temperature, you can see the relative humidity, it is 86.965 percentage, when come to this case, it is 28 percentage. Uh, but the, I told you the main concern about the humidity ratio, or relative, uh, means uh, uh, absolute humidity, it is 29.905 gram per kilogram, but this case it is only 18.476. So, there is a big difference between the uh, humidity ratio of the 46 by 29 and 34 by 32. So, uh, this is for the UAE, similar to Qatar also, if you, similarly if you go to Qatar also, we will not select the country's uh, maximum temperature. For example, the country maximum temperature as per the Qatar civil, uh, Qatar uh, construction specification, QCS is uh, 46 by 30. So, here in UAE, 46 dry bulb and 29 wet bulb, but in Qatar uh, construction specification, it is 46 degree dry bulb and uh, 30 degree wet bulb, we have to consider. But going for the FH selection again the reason is if you go with the country maximum temperature then the humidity ratio will be low but we have to select the monsoon or very worst condition of the country that is the reason we normally select here 34 32 so here the humidity ratio is very high that means FH cooling coil has to remove more amount of moisture from the outside to make this uh, indoor condition very comfort so 
For example, I need 24 degrees Celsius indoor and 50 percent humidity for my comfort condition in the room. Then the outside condition, I, uh, we consider 34, 32, uh, the country host condition as I told you. So in this case, the absolute humidity or humidity ratio is 29.905 gram per kilogram. After that, it is, uh, after this condition, it is 9.336 condition. So the FHU has to uh, make the changes of the humidity ratio from here to here. So, the FHU should be designed in this way, it will reduce the humidity ratio from 29.9 to 9.336. In normal FHU, the outside air will pass through the FHU casing area. So, we have the filters here, after that the cooling coil section will come, after that we have the fans, then this supply air will be supplied to the room. So, in this video, I am going to explain the concept of this, uh, this type of thing and uh, in the next video, I will explain the detailed concept about the three cool cooling coil and the reheat pipe with the heat recovery wheel so how to uh, determine the temperature at different different cases so uh, going to going further with this video so here the flow 8310 we got from the uh, calculation for that room uh, for the high risk building so 8310 liter per second divided by 1000 so 8.310 liter uh, meter cube per second and on cold rival temperature as i told you we are considering 34 and 32 it's uh, so like a monsoon or country worst condition so here in this case the rs will be 87 percentage so you can see here so, RH will be 86.9, so 87 uh, percentage I consider and the 34 and 32 dry bulb and wet bulb temperature. And the another important thing we need to consider is enthalpy, it is 110.826 kilojoule per kilogram is a enthalpy here. So, here I added all the value on coil, uh, then uh, relative humidity and enthalpy. So, now the second thing is the half coil. So, half coil also we need to know to find out the total cooling capacity. So, first one half coil driver temperature. So, in order to find out the half coil driver temperature, you have to understand one concept here. Uh, for example, here we have the different office buildings are here, office rooms are here. So, the FHU is located somewhere here in the roof, so which is provides the uh, air to different rooms. So, let us say that all this room I need like uh, 24 degrees Celsius, 24 degrees Celsius I need the uh, comfort condition inside. So, the cooling coil after the temperature, I mean the half coil temperature, it should be somewhere lower than that one because, because of the lengthy direction of the duct, there will be some heat gain will be there because the duct will pass through the unconditioned area, soft area it will pass, so there is unconditioned area, so there will be some heat gain will be there, additionally some uh, leakage will be there because of the dampers and other things, so leakage losses as well as the temperature heat gain we have to consider. Uh, so, this will make 2 to 3 degrees Celsius uh, higher. So, this half coil temperature should be selected accordingly. For example, here in our case, uh, 23, let us say 23 degrees Celsius I need for the room condition. So, I will consider 20, uh, 20 degrees Celsius here because uh, after the leakage, lack of, uh, losses and heat gain, it will reach uh, 23 degrees Celsius uh, uh, 22 degrees Celsius somewhere like that. So, I consider slightly lower than the comfort condition as a 20 degrees Celsius half coil dry bulb. And second important thing is FHO I am not using only to provide the cooling supply air, FH is only for the fresh air. Additionally for each room we have the FCU, so FCU will provide the uh, supply air with the comfort condition that is 23 Celsius. This each room we are providing the fresh air for the indoor air quality, so 23 degrees Celsius I need in the room, so I slightly consider lower than that one. As I told you 2 to 3 degrees Celsius will be the heat gain and leakage loss, so I consider 20 degrees Celsius the half coil temperature for the FHU here. And the second important thing is, so the dry bulb temperature I consider 20 degrees Celsius, coming to the relative humidity, so after the coil the relative humidity will be always high uh, compared with the outdoor condition, so the relative humidity normally we can experience like 85-90 percentage very high relative humidity, so I consider here 90 percent relative humidity, the higher relative humidity after the cooling coil, so dry bulb temperature and relative humidity we can get the balance value like wet bulb temperature, it is 18.83 and the important thing is the enthalpy 53.729, so I am going to apply all this value in the Excel to find out the total cooling capacity. So, uh, relative humidity uh, for example here 90 percentage. So, and coming to the enthalpy 53.729, so round off to 54 uh, percentage, relative humidity 54 percentage, uh, 54 sorry, kilojoule per kilogram 54 and coming to the delta H, it is H1 minus H2, H1 is coming from the on coil side, H2 is coming from the off coil side. So, it is 56.8. So, coming to the formula here, in order to find out the total cooling capacity, we have to follow the formula 1.204 into Q. Q is the air flow in meter cube per second. The unit is very important. And coming to H1 minus H2, the unit is very important. Kilojoule per kilogram of dry air. Uh, so, 1.20 is the constant value. That is the density of air at 20 degrees Celsius. So, in our case now, if you go down, you can see here. 
the total cooling capacity first we find out the delta h h2 minus h1 we find out the delta h and additional to that one it is multiplied with 1.204 that is the density of air constant value and multiply with the air flow c13 is the air flow 8.310 and multiply with the delta h so total it gives the answer of 568.6 kilowatt that is the total cooling capacity i mean the cooling coil capacity for the fahu so coming to the sensible cooling capacity we have the same thing but we have slightly different formula sensible cooling capacity is equal to 1.204 multiply with the q q is the air flow in meter cube per second and instead of delta uh, here we followed h it's a enthalpy so enthalpy means the work which is performed to increase the uh, things from on coil to off coil i mean the work uh, happen that is the enthalpy coming to the temperature so for the sensible cooling capacity we have to see the temperature only so temperature t1 minus t2 means is a entering air temperature t1 leaving air temperature that means on coil and off coil both temperature we have to enter here and additionally we have the 1.006 that is the specific heat capacity so in kilojoule per kilogram degree celsius the unit is again important here so here if you see here uh, flow again the same flow what i ended here the same is coming here also as a excel formula so on coil temperature again 34 32 is coming here dry bulb 34 wet bulb is 32 and relative humidity the same 87 percentage is coming from here also and h1 we don't need in this one just i added here h1 and h2 we can avoid here because we need only the delta t not delta h and half coil temperature 20 degree celsius and relative humidity rh and delta t is equal to in this case 34 minus 20 that is 14 degree celsius so that is clear now we are going to apply the formula 1.204 multiply with the q q is the 8.310 and delta t so delta t is 14 so if you apply all this answer you will get sensible cooling capacity in kilowatt of 140.9 so total cooling capacity this one and sensible cooling capacity this one so i hope you are now very clear with um, this uh, deciding of on coil off coil and why you we select particularly the unit for uh, uh, country worst condition or monsoon condition uh, for the uae it is 34 32 and uh, even though dubai building building regulation mentioned that 46 30 or 46 29 is the air condition temperature so that condition uh, 46 29 normally we apply for the selection of other unit but for the FAHU we are taking the fresh air from the outside so this condition we need to follow the country worst condition that is 34 32 and that time the absolute humidity or humidity ratio is very very high compared with the normal 46 and 29 degree celsius so you have to follow your local requirement when selecting the outside air and you have to consider this condition as i told you to decide the total cooling capacity and sensible cooling capacity so in the future videos we will explain very detail about how to consider the pre cool cooling coil uh, reheat and heat recovery will what are the changes will happen what is mixed air temperature so there are plenty of things we have to discuss about in the fhu so we will see you again with another interesting video thank you for watching the video